How's it going, everyone? This is Dix, another Ultimate Gamer I'm logging on. And today I'm about to talk about one of the most weirdest and surreal games I've ever played. Especially within the recent years. Cruelty Squad. Now I have to be honest with you all here. When I first took a look at the images of this game, I was like asking myself, what the fuck kind of game is this? Huh? Well, it's a tactical first person shooter game. But what kind of a tactical first person shooter game? Well, judging from the graphics, it looks either like an unfinished polygon game from the 90s, or whoever made this game must be fucked up on drugs. Well, it's a fucked up game all around regardless. But it turns out being on drugs with this project is not the case. The creators of the game obviously knew what they were doing. It's not like a bad thing how they did it. Now judging from the overwhelming positive reviews on Steam with this retro 90s polygon looks, of an unfinished game that came from the 90s, released within the recent years. It kind of feels like it, or looks like it. I have to try this game out myself, and hot damn! You know, I played plenty of weird surreal games before, but I played nothing as weird and surreal as Cruelty Squad. And I can tell you one thing, I enjoy playing the shit out of Cruelty Squad. Cruelty Squad. A tactical first person shooter. Play as a contract assassin. Get briefed by a regular fixer that looks like Slimer from Ghostbusters. And this Cruelty Squad game is no Hitman Agent 47 game. Cruelty Squad doesn't rely on stealth mechanic gameplay. Or the protagonist or the antagonist being incognito. Cruelty Squad is a game what you call kill or be killed. They obviously don't call this game Cruelty Squad for nothing, and this difficulty level can say that for itself. There are tons of reasons why this game is titled Cruelty Squad. Few other gamers who review this game to see their take on the game, or better yet, play the fucking game yourself, and you will see what I mean. Cruelty Squad is one of the most bizarre and unique first-person shooter games I ever played. Even if this game is fucked up, but it's also rewarding. And here's another twisted part of Cruelty Squad. After you kill any armed NPCs or civilian NPCs or mutants or your contracts, you can harvest their organs and put them up on the stock market. Or you can take their limbs and throw them or kick them around. And some stages have a grill, where you can cook up their limbs and eat them to gain more health points. I guess this protagonist, or antagonist, whatever you decide to call your character, is a cannibalistic motherfucker as well. <laughs> yes, there is also a stock market system, where you can put up the organs from your victims, or buy them off the market, or sell them again at a higher value as well as other stocks, as well as fishes. Yes, you can also buy and sell fish, as well as go fishing at some stages once you acquire the fishing pole. It's nice to have a pastime, or something to do besides killing people in Cruelty Squad. I guess I can put it that way. <laughs> Developer of Cruelty Squad, Consumer Saw Products, sure has a creative mind with this immersive fantasy world that's set in a surreal world with a mixed bag of recyclable graphics that came from a few decades ago, blended in with the sewage infested garbage to make you believe you're on acid trip throughout this psychedelic journey. And no, this is not intended to be in any hippie world of any kind. And when putting over 51 hours of my time into this game, I would say it's a mixed bag of trash and gems. Which, sometimes there are cool stuff in the trash. 
But if that's something that came out of a total bullet diarrhea, that's something you want to avoid. But that's not the case with Cruelty Squad, though. Cruelty Squad has a lot of secrets in the game, as well as hidden things being cryptic, like how to unlock certain things. You have to be in that spot and change the screen resolution from the settings for a short time to unlock a passage. Now that's pretty fucking strange, but a very original idea for a secret. Cruelty Squad has plenty of kick-ass weapons and body modification with special perks that can be choose from. And they can be used on any levels, which some of them can be purchased or secretly found in levels, and some of them can be quite useful in certain stages. Cruelty Squad is pretty fucked up, and it's fucking awesome. And my mind's a little fucked up right now, but kind of feeling awesome. So Cruelty Squad was released in 2021, and the replay value still holds up here and there. Not completely special, but it's one of those games I would like to go somewhere into the realm of 90s first person shooters, and an unfinished style game from the 90s with love for GeoCity graphical style, well mainly the internet from the 90s, which if you want to play a game that does good tribute for the combination of the 90s internet simulation and being in the world of GeoCity, play Hitmo Space Outlaw. That's pretty much all the basics for Cruelty Squad. A fucked up, but recommendable first person shooter game. Thank you all very much for watching, and this is Dixon of the Ultimate Game Realm, logging off.